Today we'll be taking a look at the Wise Cam Pan, which is a colored night vision camera uh, it's suitable for both indoor and outdoor applications. Uh, it has pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, it is a 1080p full HD camera, and uh, it is IP65 weather resistant, so it can be mounted outdoors uh, and get wet. Uh, it has motion and sound detection, two-way audio, uh, and a great 120-degree wide-angle lens, uh, suitable for a lot of security applications. The WISE app itself allows you to control the camera in different directions where you can tilt and pan the camera, uh, and you can pinch zoom and uh, look uh, at different things uh, closer on the camera feed itself. The box comes with the mounting hardware that you can use to mount the camera in uh, many different orientations as uh, you saw earlier. Uh, the USB cable comes with a power brick that uh, connects to the bottom of the camera. And here is the mounting bracket for the camera. You'll need to download the WISE app uh, from the Apple Store or uh, Google Play Store. And once it's installed, you'll have to set up an account. So here I've already set up an account, so we'll jump straight into after I've logged in. Uh, here you add a new camera and we will choose the WISE Pan V3 camera to add. And then uh, once you power up the camera, you should see a red flashing LED on the front of it. So once you see that, hit next on the app. You'll have to allow your location. And connect to Wi-Fi, which I did off screen here. Once you've connected to Wi-Fi, go back to the camera and then you'd have to hit the setup button on the back. And once you hear the uh, ready to connect, you would check the box and hit next. Now you'll get a QR code that you'll have to scan with the camera. So point the camera at the QR code and wait for the confirmation and then hit next. And here you can name the device, so I'll just choose Front Yard Cam as my, uh, the name of my device. You can name it anything you want. Setup completed. And once you have done that, uh, you will hit Finish and the setup is complete. Here you will have an option to choose different plans. Uh, there's a basic plan which is for free, which I'll choose, but you can also pay and get additional features like cloud video recording, package alerts, and things like that and you can confirm so i'm using basic and then there are also things to try that you can explore a bit more about learning on the, about the features of your camera hit finish and there are also mounting instructions that you can uh, choose to look through if you want to and now it's complete now this is the app where you can actually uh, control the camera and view the camera feed so i would launch that and uh, you can uh, uh, pan and tilt using just uh, swiping on the camera uh, screen itself, or you can use the arrows at the bottom of the app uh, to pan and tilt the camera. There are many other features like SD card. Take, you can take a photo and store it on the SD card. Um, there's track, uh, tracking motion, uh, and then here I can view the history of all events that it has captured. And you can also uh, store uh, pictures and videos on the SD card that's on the device. Here uh, I'm using a 32 GB SD card, which I'll link in the description below. It's optional, but you can add it if you want for extra storage on the camera itself. Uh, yeah, it's a cool little camera, so pick one up today. Uh, it's a pretty inexpensive, affordable. It has a ton of different features. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's water resistant, so you can actually mount it outside. Uh, it uh, rotates uh, in all kinds of directions. It has a great little uh, uh, quality uh, camera sensor on it. Uh, I, would, I would highly recommend it, and you can also mount it in different directions. Get one today. The link is in the description below. Thank you.